until a century ago, Europe was ruled by several kings, queens, and grand dukes. Even today some countries maintain monarchies even though the monarchs do not have absolute powers to rule. Here is top 10 most famous monarchs of Europe in its thousands of history. Here are 24 candidates of one of the most famous monarchs of Europe. The ranks will be determined by the monarch's fame over centuries with some additional legacies and significant effects to their kingdoms or empires. 10. Queen Isabella I of Castile, present-day Spain. Came to throne in 1474 as the Queen of Castile and Leon, Isabella I is the most well-known monarchs in Spanish history. She married to Ferdinand II of Aragon and became co-monarchs after they completed their reconquest of Spain after 700 years of struggling in 1492. She is best known for her financial support on one of the world's famous explorer, Christopher Columbus. Thanks to her financing on Columbus's 1492 voyage, Spain could dominate most of the New World and eventually became first global power in Europe for more than a century. She is mother of Queen Joanna of Castile the Mad and Catherine of Aragon, who got divorced after gave birth to her daughter, Queen Mary I of England. 9. King Frederick II the Great of Prussia, present-day Germany. Frederick II was King of Prussia from 1740 to 1786 with the longest reign of any Hohenzollern king. During his reign, Prussia greatly increased its territories and became a leading power in Europe. Under his rule, Prussia continued to develop in these areas which include territory expansion, modernization, music, art, architecture, agriculture and more. Frederick the Great was interested in land use, especially opening new farmland for colonizers to increase the kingdom's food supply. As a result, a thousand new villages were founded in his reign that also attracted 300,000 immigrants from outside Prussia. He also introduced new crops, using improved technologies to create new farmland. For this, he was sometimes called the Potato King. 8. Nero the Roman Emperor Nero is the fifth emperor of the Roman Empire and the last in the Julio-Claudian dynasty. Consider the fact that he became an emperor in 17, his early rule of the gigantic empire was not bad at all. He focused on diplomacy, trade and enhancing the cultural life of the Roman citizens by building new theaters. His administrative policies worked well enough until what most people know of him today began to start. In 64 AD, the empire's capital, Rome, was flamed with the Great Fire, half covering its total areas. The extent of fire damaged more than half of 14 districts of ancient Rome. Even though it is uncertain who caused the fire, most people believed their one as their emperor. They said that Nero himself burned his own empire's capital city to deflect his blame from several rumors to Christians. In many arts and films, he is described to play his fiddle and sing while the city burned. In fact, accidental fires were common in ancient time of Rome. There were even two more great fires in Rome after his assassination in 68. 7. Maria Theresa Wahlberger Amalia Christina, the Holy Roman Empress. Maria Theresia was the only female ruler of the Habsburg dominions and the last of the House of Habsburg. She was the sovereign of more than ten different regions of Europe at the time. During her 35 years of reign of Austria, she promulgated financial and educational reforms, promoted commerce and the development of the agriculture, which all brought Austria into Europe's major power once again in the mid-18th century. Maria Theresia led the marriage negotiations within Europe's royal houses along with the campaigns of her wars. She saw her children with the efficiency but used them as tools for peace between the states which brought her many profits to enlarge her influence across the continent and grow her sovereigns at the same time. She wrote letters to all of her children every week, which one of them includes Marie Antoinette, Queen of King Louis XVI of France, who later executed by the cause of the French Revolution after Theresia's death. 6. Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland the most effective and famous monarch today, Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom serves as the head of state in some of the members of the Commonwealth of Nations. She's currently the longest training monarch in the British history with 64 years of reign from her coronation in 1952. During her time decolonization movements occurred effectively within the colonies of the former British Empire. 
Before entering the 21st century, Britain had lost most of the colonies as a result. However, Britain's economy rapidly grew after 20 years from World War II and became the fifth largest economies of the world today. Britain remains as one of the most stable state on the planet. Elizabeth II still remains as the unbreakable head of the British monarchy and maintained it the most influential royal families in the world. 5. Charlemagne the Holy Roman Emperor, also called the King of the Franks. Charlemagne conquered and united large part of Western Europe. He laid the foundations for modern-day France, Germany, the Low Countries, and Italy. He became the King of the Franks in 768 and King of Italy in 774. In December 25, 800, Charlemagne was crowned to be the first recognized emperor in Western Europe since the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476. He is also founder of the Carolingian Empire. Charlemagne has been called the father of Europe. As all Holy Roman emperors and French and German monarchies considered them as Charlemagne's descendants. His rule spurred the Carolingian Renaissance in the early Middle Ages which brought cultural and intellectual development of the Western Church. 4. Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom Queen Victoria of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland, with additional title of Empress of India, is often considered as the most beloved monarchs of Britain. She has second longest reign of all British monarchs with 63 years of reign in 20th century, which is known as the Victorian era. It was the period of industrial, cultural, political, scientific, and military changes of the United Kingdom. During her rule, even though her power was limited by constitutional monarchy, the United Kingdom, or British Empire came to exist as the top major power in the world with both a quarter of the world's land mass and population held. Victoria married her first cousin, Prince Albert of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, and gave birth to nine children. They married to the royal and noble families across the continent, made Victoria earn the title of the Grandmother of Europe. Victorian Nero was the golden age of the history of Britain which continued to develop until the end of World War I. It was also the time when one of the most famous figures of the UK Parliament led the country like Benjamin Disraeli and William Gladstone. 3. Napoleon Bonaparte One of the best conquerors of all time. Napoleon Bonaparte was a French military leader in the early 19th century. He came into throne by himself and declared Imperial France in 1804 until 1814, and again in 1815. He dominated European global affairs for more than a decade while leading France in the Napoleonic Wars against continental Europe. He built a large empire over Western Europe before its collapse in 1815 after a last battle of his lifetime, the Battle of Waterloo, exiled him in an small island until his death after six years. Napoleon's dream of dominance over the continent could be failed by largely defensive group of countries grouped together as the continental Europe, but his legacy and effectiveness still remains hardly in French society and around the world. He brought liberal reforms and policies around Europe. And of course, his most well-known legal achievement, the Napoleonic Code, has influenced the legal systems of more than 70 countries around the world. It was the idea that has created judicial branches of modern world with equality before law, religious toleration, property rights, and much more. 2. Henry VIII of England Henry VIII is most famous male monarchs of all British history. He ruled England and Ireland for about 40 years in early 16th century. He is known for his six wives and their dramatic stories, Wars of Love and Affair, which concluded with two of his wives executed and two of them divorced. At the beginning of his marriage career, Henry divorced with Catherine of Aragon, which I mentioned earlier as the granddaughter of Queen Isabella I of Castile, and broke up apart with the Roman Catholicism, which was a really big deal at the time. He adopted England's new religion based on Roman Catholic with some additional ideas of himself. And he declared himself as the head of the new Church of England, which still remains as a tradition to the British monarchs to be the head of the Church of England as well. After that, Henry started the religious wars across his kingdom, resulting thousands of people's lives that continued reign of his daughter, Elizabeth I. It was the beginning of the tedious fights between Catholics, Protestants, and even Puritans who later sailed to the land of freedom, called America to find their religious liberty. And our last and most famous monarchs of European history is 
1. King Louis XIV of France. Louis XIV of France, also well known as the Sun King, led the absolute monarchy of Western Europe along with his rivals, House of Habsburg in the late 17th century. He is also the longest reigning monarch of all major states in European history with 72 years of reign across 17th and 18th centuries. He actually started his personal rule in 1661, after 23 years of his coronation, after the death of his chief minister, Mazarin. He was adherent to the concept of the divine right of kings, which made him continue to create a centralized state governed from the capital. Under his absolute power, France developed in a lot of ways that none of the previous French monarchs had done at the time. Also, his love in art encouraged artists to make France an art capital of the world later. During his reign, France was the leading power of Europe and fought in three major wars, Franco-Dutch War, the War of the League of Augsburg, and the War of the Spanish Succession. Under his rule, the Edict of Nantes was abolished which granted rights to Huguenots. Louis expanded France's territories over the Low Countries by gaining victory over the Franco-Dutch War in the late 17th century. He was the one who showed France's pride across the continent which led to a century later, the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars. His world's most famous quotes I am the state, le dat, cursed moi, shows every thoughts of Louis himself that could have led France into the center of Europe's monarchy. Regarding his quote, he made the largest palace ever built in France where he lived for 30 years of his later lives with satisfaction of his kingdom's new capital with all of the powers gathered in his hands. Do you agree with my list? If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you for watching this video.